investigation report. So how to prepare soil investigation report? When you are discussing subsoil investigation, so you might be recollect the main objective of subsoil investigation is for the recommendation of foundation. So now coming to preparation of report, first you will write the introduction. In introduction, in introduction, we are we are mentioning the client name and also the way the things are happening, the way the things are, this is what is a social connectivity. So who, who is re requesting and who is involving in the uh, collecting soil sample and also the location. Again, we will write about the name of the project and its location. Now done boring for, uh, for a diameter 150 mm. I already mentioned in class, the diameter of the borehole is 150 mm, six inches. And the depth of investigation here is uh, 10 meters. I have told you why it is 10 meter many times. The 10 meter why we have selected is, why we have selected 10 meter is, uh, I told you many times, you just, uh, it is based on number of stories. It is based on number of stories. Now responsibility of uh, the agency involved in preparation of report. Testing disturbed and undisturbed soil samples. Now you know this language and giving recommendation about bearing capacity and the type of foundation. The third subsection, section, the third section in the report is subsoil investigation. So actually, uh, here we have done subsoil investigation. Uh, many times we conduct a field test. So the most frequently uh, used field test in the name of soil subsoil investigation is undoubtedly undoubtedly standard penetration test as per IS2131 as per IS you know that 63.5 kg hammer height of fall 75 centimeter and we used it to conduct the test at regular intervals a code has suggested at every 1.5 meter now we are collecting disturbed and undisturbed samples we are bringing soil samples to the laboratory now we are getting the profile of the ground uh, SPT, SPT number of blows during SPT is maybe 3 dash, 5 dash, 4. Now the answer is 9, 5 plus 4. So now we are having a data of SPT up to 10 meters. Uh, what we are mainly presenting in report, we are giving all the properties of soil, mainly where you see material moisture content, dry unit weight, recorded SPT, and coming to shear strength parameters. Those we call CN5, cohesion and angular fentanyl friction. Once you got CN5, you can able to calculate bearing capacity. So at the end, by seeing this profile, I will show you the profile of the ground. I will show you the bore log. Log is a graphical representation of the graphical representation of the different subsoil strata. The scanning report at the end of the soil investigation. This is what we call bore log data. What what I am logging? Entire boring data. This is very important. This is the ultimate scanning report. If you go, if you are having this diagram, you can take a wonderful decision regarding decision regarding selection of a proper foundation for the project. See name of the project, location of the project, day, type of boring. I have done shell and agar method and date of boring. See, very important. I used it to speak in the last class also. So soil investigation not only limited to testing soil, it also think about position of groundwater table position of groundwater okay. After that, we will, after getting the information about soil and knowing the structural load, we will select the, we will select the foundation. We will select the foundation. 